Youth renewal is a power of the world to come and we need to get used to it. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, tonight I would like to start with this Old Testament situation. Numbers chapter 17 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and take of every one of them a rod, according to the house of their fathers. Twelve rods. Say twelve rods. Twelve rods. How many rods is that? Twelve. Very good. Twelve rods, and write thou every man's name upon his rod so you got the 12 tribes of israel mm -hmm. you still here yep. and they're going to take these rods and really rods it means a staff mm -hmm. you've seen those right usually they got a crook on the end for you know collecting sheep and verse 3 and thou shalt write aaron's name upon the rod of levi so you've got all the tribes and one for the house of levi he said to write aaron's name on because he was mm -hmm. of the house of Levi. Verse 4, And thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony. So now you're going to collect them all up and you're going to lay them inside the tent of testimony. And verse 5, And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall blossom, and I will make to cease from me the murmurings of the children of Israel whereby they murmur against you because they were talking speaking murmuring against complaining really against Moses and Aaron mm -hmm. again well this was designed to shut them up mm -hmm. and Moses laid up the rods before the Lord in the tabernacle of witness you get it yep. and he said that God's gonna choose one of them Verse 8, And it came to pass, on the morrow Moses went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded and brought forth buds and bloomed blossoms and yielded almonds overnight. Mm -hmm. Ripe almonds overnight. Now, get this. So God obviously was saying Aaron is chosen. Uh -huh. He was selected. Mm -hmm. Say he was selected. He was selected. Now this was a branch. It was a rod that was a piece of wood mm -hmm. that was dead and seasoned and old. And yet overnight, because God chose it without soil, without rain, without sunshine it sprung forth in new life and had blossoms and leaves i'm, assu I'm assuming and had ripe almonds almonds don't ripen overnight no. so god god not only renewed the youth of this rod he quickened it and made it productive again like it would have been in days gone by are you here yes. who did this God well the Holy Ghost yes but God did it right. say God did it. God, God did it and this is something God did to the chosen rod the chosen staff the select one he selected it right well you are the chosen you are the select one and I'm often asked this by people why doesn't everyone see this mm -hmm. the things that you say why doesn't everyone see it mm. I ask the same question <laughs> but Jesus said he that has ears to hear let them hear let him hear yeah. so it's a selection that God does and then they hear it and then they see it differently 
we can see this differently mm -hmm. say I can see this, I can see this differently. differently so here we can see God making the youth of an old branch that he selected new again and thrive mm -hmm. say new again, new again. And, thrive. and thrive youth renewal is a power of the world to come not everyone sees it not everyone will see it but stay with me and you will hebrews chapter 6 and verse 5 and have tasted the good word of god and the powers of the world to come this is talking about a specific group of people who have been chosen to go on or who have chosen to go on they taste the good word of god and the powers of the world to come youth renewal is a power of the world to come and when are you supposed to taste the word of god right now and when are you supposed to taste the powers of the world to come right now well if youth renewal is a power of the world to come and you're tasting it now shouldn't you be experiencing mm -hmm. youth renewal yeah. youth renewal is something the holy ghost does it's something he lives in and it's something he does did he done do it to that rod mm -hmm. he done did it to the dead rod mm -hmm. renewed its youth yeah. is this something god does yes mm -hmm. is it a power of the world to come therefore is it something he will do to us yes yes well let's see if we have some scriptures on that romans chapter 8 and verse 11 if the spirit of him that raised jesus from the dead who raised jesus from the dead holy ghost. the holy ghost if the spirit of him that raised up jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies mm -hmm. by his spirit that dwells in you he shall quicken your mortal bodies yeah. he shall quicken your mortal bodies you've been chosen for this you've been selected for this to have the holy ghost quicken your mortal body and when does that happen after you die and go to heaven no you know why because that word mortal doesn't mean dead did he say that he will quicken your dead body no he will quicken your mortal body which means the body that you're living in right now yeah. youth renewal is something mm -hmm. that the holy ghost does now i don't know if you know this or not but your body your physical body your mortal body was designed to live forever we know that every cell of our body replicates and reproduces itself over time some parts of your body and some cells reproduce and you know and change over a lot quicker than that mm -hmm. but after seven years your entire body is completely different than the other body you were living in seven years ago mm -hmm. because of the cellular reproduction and replacing the old cells with new cells mm -hmm say replacing, replacing the old cells, old cells. With, new cells. with new cells now this could have gone on indefinitely and would have gone on indefinitely if there wasn't the introduction of death and sin into the earth mm -hmm. right so you were designed to live forever are you getting this mm -hmm. same body you're in now and the holy ghost shall quicken that mortal body that you're in now now if you bear with me here you know you're made up of cells right mm -hmm. and these cells reproduce and replace themselves with themselves over and over mm -hmm. well inside each cell is a nucleus mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and inside each cell are what we call chromosomes which have the double helix strands of DNA but the end of these strands they the end, the end. is something we call telomeres t-e-l-o-m-e-r-e-s and each time that that cell divides into another cell to reproduce itself mm -hmm. and become brand new the telomere on the end gets a little bit shorter and gets a little bit shorter each time it gets a little bit shorter until it's too short and can't replicate itself again then it becomes inactive and senescent or you could say it dies and that's when the effects of old age begin to happen because that stick of dna got too short mm -hmm. to reproduce itself again but we saw that god takes old sticks and gives them new life makes them thrive again he shall quicken your mortal body mm -hmm. our cells part of your mortal body yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he takes the old sticks and gives them new life what would that cause those telomeres to do mm -hmm. to be longer is this too hard for the lord mm -hmm. is anything too hard for the lord no. and you've been selected to be quickened by the spirit of god are you here the holy ghost shall quicken my mortal body say it the holy ghost, the holy ghost shall, shall quicken, quicken my, my mortal, body. mortal body see you must call your youth renewed you have to call your youth renewed abraham called those things that be not as though they were romans chapter 4 verse 17 before him whom he believed even god who quickens the dead mm -hmm. and calls those things which be not as though they were now was abraham dead no he was still in a mortal body so god was going to quicken his body that was like dead mm -hmm. the like dead part was abraham had become old to the point where certain reproductive parts weren't working anymore are you here yep. what had happened if we go back to the telomere example mm -hmm. they got too short there and you know it just stopped working for him mm -hmm. but here it says before him whom he believed even god who quickens the dead or mortal and calls those things which be not as though they were verse 19 and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead what does that mean he considered not his own body too old when he was about a hundred years old so i don't know what your problem is when he was about 100 years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb the same thing was happening with sarah mm -hmm. he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god and being fully persuaded that what he had promised what he had said mm -hmm. say what he, had said, what he had said he was able also to perform and therefore it was imputed unto him for righteousness verse 23 now it was not written for his sake alone that it was what is imputed unto him but for us also mm. say but for us, but for us. Also. also so here we had abraham who was too old mm -hmm. he considered not his own body too old abraham called those things those telomeres that be not as though they were that be not old as though they were younger what is were mm -hmm. were is in the past mm -hmm. were is before say were, were. Is, before. is before he called them 
as though they were you have to call your youth renewed say i have to, I have to call, call my youth renewed, youth renewed as though it were, though it were. Mm -hmm. is that scriptural and here it says it's for us also to whom it shall be imputed youth renewal is a power of the world to come and we need to get used to it Genesis 18 verse 11 now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women so they had come to a place in their life where certain things had ceased to be and God said I am going to turn back the time of life put you back into a different time of life and you will have a son that's called youth renewal he renewed the youth of their mortal body to a time before he returned it to the before time before the age related issues had happened to before it ceased to be remember we read that it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women and so God returned her to a time before it ceased to be you might say well fine that's fine for Abraham and Sarah but what about me well what about you it shall be imputed unto you Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions well first off we can see here he sent his word how do you send a word by saying it so his said word his said word healed them and his said word delivered them from their destructions well we know for humans one of the main destructions that plagues every single one is old age can you see how old age is a destruction would it have destroyed Adam and Eve no because they they were regenerating over and over and over indefinitely mm -hmm. it only destroys people when the death came in and the telomeres get shorter and shorter mm -hmm. if old age is a destruction then God redeems you from your destruction it's one of the destructions he redeems you from one of the destructions of your physical body is decay over time say decay, decay. Over, time. over time and there's a word we use for that it's called entropy mm. happens to be the part of the second law of thermodynamics we all know this right mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like to simplify that down it simply means decay over time things decay over time mm -hmm. which is what your physical body does and it destroys it over time well there was a time there was a time before the decay started mm -hmm. so when God renews your youth he renews it back to the time before mm -hmm. the before time and of course we could say we could start talking about Adam and Eve in the garden but that would be the before for time but we're just talking about the before time and to keep it simple think about the time before you got sick mm -hmm. there was a time you weren't sick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're going around humming being happy and you weren't sick and all of a sudden you got sick if you have your youth renewed to the time before you got sick then the sickness was as if it never happened yeah. that's youth renewal having time turned back for you before sickness happened before the decay happened before the decay of time entropy happened mm -hmm. that's youth renewal he sent his word by saying and delivered me 
from my decay of time say he sent his word, he sent his word and, delivered and delivered me from my, from my decay, decay of time. time he said it back before that's him delivering delivering you from your destructions are you getting this but you must call your youth renewed it's the said word that delivers you Abraham called those things which be not as though they were were was in the past he called them as though they were say I call it, I call as, it. Though it as though it was I call every cell of my body youth renewed to before sickness happened to before the decay of time happened to the before time can you see this youth renewal is not healing youth renewal sets you back to before sickness or decay happened it has an outward effect that looks an awful lot like healing but it's not healing it's so much more than that it's a power of the world to come I hope you can hear this let the speaking of God's Word transport you into this new power you can't speak God's good word out your mouth and not have it affect your life not have it affect your cells not have it affect your telomeres this is the opposite of entropy which is decay over time how old is the Holy Ghost seems to be pretty old right but I would argue that he's very young if you have a being that's existed from whenever the beginning was how long is he gonna exist probably a lot longer than that are you here so in his age he's still very young John chapter 14 verse 16 I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter we know who that is that's the Holy Ghost that he may abide with you say with me, with me. forever how long is that long time. he will abide with you forever now do you suppose if that's true do you, is that true yes it is. that's true so you should have some youth renewal working where do you think you're gonna get this youth renewal from mm -hmm. this same comforter this same Holy Ghost that's gonna abide with you is going to have to quicken your mortal body mm -hmm. for two weeks how long no forever are you here yeah. well oh, what are you talking about this stuff because the word talks about this stuff and we're looking into the powers of the world to come we're supposed to begin experiencing and walking in these powers of the world to come and youth renewal is obviously one of those powers and how long are you going to be walking in youth renewal well when I get to heaven when I die and go to heaven you're supposed to start now say I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to. Start, now. start now he will abide with you meaning live with you forever say this the spirit, the spirit that, raised that raised Jesus, Jesus from, the dead from the dead shall quicken, shall quicken my, body. my body his spoken word, his spoken word delivers, me delivers me from my destructions from my, destructions. From my decay, from my decay over time I call, I call my youth, my youth renewed. renewed Holy Ghost thank you for renewing the youth of the people that have heard these words and sickness shall no longer bother them they've been quickened according to your word and decay is no longer a problem 
they walk with you in the eternal life of your word spoken and we worship you holy ghost in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost holy i worship God. you i thank you that my entire future is with you and my tithes and my offerings are multiplying exponentially unto me in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god